How two invisible and microscopic cells come together to form a human being weighing around 3 kilograms at birth and 70 kilograms in adulthood is a marvel of human development. The process is very complex and has been a subject of curiosity and research from time immemorial. The pregnancy journey began with the formation of ovaries and testis of the potential mother and father of the baby even before they themselves were born. More development occurs when the parents reach puberty. During and after puberty, the mother usually ovulates every month followed by menstruation if the egg is not fertilized. Unlike in females, the formation of spermatozoa, spermatogenesis, is continuous and non-cyclical. Before ovulation, in the index menstrual cycle in which the pregnancy takes place, the uterus or womb where the baby would stay for about nine months prepares its inner linings to make it habitable and comfortable for the baby. After ovulation and fertilization in the fallopian tube, the inner layer of the womb, called endometrium, develops further and becomes thicker to enable it to provide all the nutrients, temperature, and space the baby needs in the nine months of living in the womb. Although the baby is called embryo in the first eight weeks and fetus after nine weeks till delivery at 40 weeks, we will use the term baby for both embryos and fetuses for ease of understanding. At the end of the video, we will also show you what babies of other animals look like in their mother's wombs. Let us begin with the first day of the baby's life. Day zero is when the mother releases an egg during ovulation and it's fertilized by the father through sexual intercourse and ejaculation followed by the traveling of the spermatozoa from the vagina to the fallopian tube to meet and fertilize the egg and form what is called a zygote. In some subfertile and infertile couples, this process is conducted outside the womb in the laboratory by doctors through a process called in vitro fertilization. Millions of spermatozoa are released during ejaculation but usually, only one best spermatoon does the fertilization while all the other sperm dies and are absorbed by the mother. This baby, called a zygote, is very small and cannot be seen with the naked eye. The mother will not know she is pregnant. Day 1 to 7 Fertilization occurs in the fallopian tube but the baby will live in the womb, uterus, implying it has to survive and travel from the tube to the womb. This journey takes the baby about seven good days. During this journey, it grows rapidly by dividing many times into multiple cells until it looks like a small ball called a morella as seen above. This small ball-like baby forms a cyst called blastocyst as seen above. Part of this baby, called blastocyst, will form the placenta and membrane which will cover the baby, and amniotic fluid which the baby will be swimming, moving, and kicking in while growing in the womb. The baby is very small, to be seen, and the pregnancy test is negative. Weeks 2 to 8 of the embryonic life The baby is developing rapidly into what looks more like a human being with most of the rudimentary organs and systems forming. Because the baby is developing rapidly with the formation of all the organs and systems in this period, anything happening to the mother can affect the baby. Some drugs taken by the mother and some sicknesses affecting her in this period can lead to miscarriages, congenital abnormalities, birth defects, or even death of the baby. Unfortunately, the mother may not even know she is pregnant. A pregnancy test is usually positive from the third week, but a negative test does not preclude pregnancies. We will now look at the key highlights of each week beginning from week two when the baby has arrived in the womb and is attached to the womb through the placenta. In the third week, the baby is about 0.4 to 2.5 millimeters long. In this week, the brain and spinal cord begin to form. The mother just missed her period for a few days and may be wondering if she is pregnant. In week 4, the baby is about 2 to 5 millimeters long and appears curved. In this week, the heart, kidneys, and buds for the hands and legs begin to form. The heart begins to beat from week 4 and this will continue throughout life. Early development of the eyes, optic sulcus, also begins to form. In week 5, the baby is about 4 to 9 millimeters long. In this week, the kidneys, lungs, upper lip, and ears begin to form. The eyes develop further. The mother just missed her period for about 3 weeks. In week 6, the baby is about 8 to 14 millimeters long. 
Around this week, the immune systems begin to form. In week 7, the baby is about 13 to 18 millimeters long. In this week, the palate begins to form. In week 8, which marks the end of the embryonic period, the head is big, and it is about half of the baby's length. The baby's tail disappears. The genitals develop, but look similar between males and females, and the baby begins to pass urine into the amniotic fluids. The teeth begin to develop and the other systems develop further. The baby is about 18 to 31 millimeters long. In week 9 marking the beginning of the fetal phase, the baby's genitals differentiate more into their respective sexes. The neck develops and thumb sucking begins. The baby is about 43 millimeters long. In week 10, the fingernails develop. The genitals develop further. In week 11, the bridge of the nose develops. In week 12, the baby may start the first defecation into the amniotic fluids and begin to respond to skin stimulations. In the fetal period, weeks 9 to 40, the organs and systems develop further and bigger and become more specialized with the baby growing from about 55 mm to about 350 mm at birth. By week 16, most of the mothers begin to feel the baby kicking, also called quickening. Baby continues to move more with each passing week. The baby's lungs are not very mature by 24 weeks implying that if born prematurely at this period, they will require lots of medical support to survive. Each additional week in the womb allows the lungs to develop better and more mature with an increased chance of survival if born prematurely until 37 weeks to 42 weeks when the baby is better off delivered than remaining in the womb. They become too big to remain in the womb from week 37 and the placenta begins to reduce in functions and the amniotic fluids begin to dry up. Most babies are born at 37 weeks to 40 weeks. A few after 40 weeks either spontaneously by the mother or through induction of labor by the doctors. Human embryos in babies look like those of other animals in the early period of pregnancies as you can see in the babies of humans when compared to lizards, tortoises, pigs, fishes, salamanders, chickens, hogs, calves, and rabbits. As the pregnancies advance, the different animals develop more into their own species. Mummy. Mummy. Mummy, when am I going to have my babies? I will tell you when you are ready to have your baby. For now, keep growing. Hooray! Soon, I am going to be a father. This is the Christian Relief Network. We are so glad you visited. Use the comment section for more clarifications, feedback, recommendations, questions, and answers. Do like and subscribe to this channel below. Thank you so much.